Hi teachers. Today I want to show you a simple word scramble game that you can create quite easily in PowerPoint. Let us say you want to test your students on the names of the various parts of a flower. It is just to test their recollection of the terms. We have a countdown timer. On the click of go, we will have the countdown start. There are totally 10 seconds available for them to find the right answer. Once it is done, we click and move to the next slide. So that is how it goes. Now we start. We click on go and then the countdown starts. Can you see here? Now the 10 seconds need to get over. And once it is done, you say the time is over and you go to the next slide. You click anywhere and you get the answer. We then go to the next question. I click on the go button and the countdown starts. They have 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds are over, then I will just click here and the answer will be revealed with a nice rearranging of characters and this is quite fascinating the best part about creating this word scramble game is the construction is very very easy and it can be done by anybody even the beginners in powerpoint and once you create a template like this then you can change these words and you can create as many quizzes as you want let us learn how to create this simple yet very functional game in powerpoint here i am on a new slide in a new presentation i have kept things very simple let us go to home let us go to auto shapes gallery pick up the rectangle tool we are going to create the countdown timer now let us give this a gray color so this is the outline to indicate that this time block is finished let us create a duplicate of this and then give this red color and then place this right on top of the previous one and give this a simple fade out animation so go to animations go to exit animation let us say wipe and say wipe from right so that is more dramatic than a simple fade then let us make a duplicate of this by pressing control d and place this right below the previous one you can see the number is already shown here which is 2 hit control d d d d d d d d okay so we have 10 of these select all of them and place them over here you can see that these animation events tell you the number of boxes here so we don't really have to think too much then let us adjust the animation timings we are going to have all of these for 1 second so each of these animates for 1 second all these animations need to happen after previous so when i go to slide show on a click you can see that this is how the countdown happens now this needs to be a little bit more elegant instead of just clicking and starting the countdown timer i want to give myself a simple button the clicking of which this countdown timer needs to start and we are going to keep that very simple as well let us go to auto shapes gallery pick up this rounded rectangle tool and let us have the button anywhere you want maybe i can have it over here and let us call this go and let us give this a different font which is thicker and let us increase the font size and to give it a distinct color let us go to shape fill and give this green color go to shape effects go to preset and use preset 2 now that looks like a simple button now all we are going to say is this first animation needs to trigger on the click of this rounded rectangle so let us go to animations go to trigger after selecting this animation event so you first select this animation event and then say trigger on click of go all the way down and you can see that this is rounded corners so click on that on the click of this button then the countdown needs to start now you can see that all of these are above the trigger so we need to move them all down so let us select all of them while holding the shift button down and then click and drag them under the previous one now when i go to slide show on the click of this button you can see that the countdown starts so it is that simple now we have got our countdown timer in place The next step is to have our scrambled word here on the first page. So let us go here and say this is love you. I know it's a very dramatic one. It goes to become ovule. So let us go here, go to two sen empty condensed extra bold and make it really big like so. So this is the first page. Then you go to the duplicate slide. We don't want any of these. Delete and let us change this to ovule so this is the solution page and we are going to use morph transition now if you don't have morph transition don't worry you can use a simple fade transition it works just as fine now the good thing about morph transition is that the change is a bit dramatic so let us go to morph go to effect options instead of the regular morph 
I'm going to use characters morph and that rearranges the characters to reveal the answer. So that is how this whole thing gets its charm. Now we have got our first one ready. Let us select both of them, right click, duplicate. Here on the first slide, we are going to change this to LL open. Then we reveal the solution and say this is pollen. So once again, when I go to this slide, you can see that I click this and the countdown starts and people try to find their answer. And once I'm done, I click and this is the solution. So that is how the whole game is played. Once you create one template, you can make multiple copies, keep changing the words and you can play this game and entertain your audience at the same time, make them learn and recollect the terms that you've taught them. By the way, if you're a teacher and you're interested in some of these simple games that are created in PowerPoint, then you can get our PowerPoint teachers bundle. This bundle has 140 PowerPoint templates for teachers, 25 interactive tabs, and more importantly, 220 interactive quiz templates pack. All of them are bundled into one product. If you want just 220 interactive quiz templates pack, you can go down and you can find this product here. I will leave a link to both these products in the description box below the video. Depending on what you want, you can get the relevant product. If you liked this simple word scramble game in PowerPoint, then you will really love this other video that we created called how to convert boring slide to interactive quiz game in PowerPoint. It's a fairly popular video with 95,000 views. You can click on the link, go to that video and learn how to create interactive quiz game in PowerPoint. I'll see you in that video.